would you describe it, man? What was it like? It was not really a show. It was not really an interview. It was sort of caught up in between. I'm very, I'm very sad that it wasn't there once a week. I think, cause I think the StarCraft scene <laughs> would have been spiced up if Carlo had a free saying once a week. I don't know if the StarCraft scene could handle Carlo once <laughs> a week, man. Just 15 minutes, Carlo just playing, uh, or Carlo talking about literally every single thing that he hates in life, and some uh, men just like to see the world burn. Yeah, but Nani was, uh, I mean, Cloud is not one of those guys. Of course, Nani one neither. Uh, Cloud is actually a very nice guy if you get to know him. He's a very sensitive person and he's a very emotional person, man. Kind of like how we often say that the only player that really defeats the Muslim most of the time is the Muslim on his own. Now, Cloud is emotional in a different way. The Muslim gets uncomfortable about the smallest things and Cloud. Clouds just let everything outside of StarCraft 2 affect his own StarCraft 2 play way too much. You can really see it. And of course, we are close friends with Carlos, so we kind of know some stuff about his own private and personal life as well. But if Cloud is happy in life, he just plays much better StarCraft. And uh, if he is not happy, if he's worried about something, if he has to worry, if he's stressed or whatever, he's just not the same player. Let's hope that he's in a good place right now, Ben. Let's hope that his mind is in a good place. And that is what he's going to need if he wants to uh, pose a serious threat to Naniwa. Naniwa is definitely one of the best foreigners to ever play the game StarCraft, Kevin, but uh, we also can make the case that he's had a little bit of a, uh, a fall from grace here recently as uh, his results are not what they once were being now knocked out of the GSL altogether. It is hard. I mean, nobody is really able to, well, unless you were Nasty, but even Nasty is uh, out of GSL right now. I don't know, Ben. I hate to focus on the negative. Naniwa has brought us so many joy moments in the foreign Stark 2 scene. He has had so many great performances. Yes, over the last few months, it hasn't been the same super successful Naniwa, but uh, the skill is still there. That's one thing that's, uh, that I'm convinced about. I always say, Ben, once a champion, always a champion. That's what I always said when people were criticizing Hawk as well. I always had faith that Hawk would come back. And I think right now people are suddenly like jumping on the Hawk bandwagon again as he's playing some fantastic StarCraft. And I have the same, uh, I'm convinced that the same thing is going to happen with Naniwa. Naniwa will bounce back. If he's ever going to be like the super dominant force again, that's always hard to predict. At the end of the day, Ben, there can only be one champion, but uh, Naniwa is still Naniwa. And Naniwa is still a participant here in the North American Star League. We'll see a lot of him across the coming weeks. We'll also see him again this Sunday as he'll be playing in the Take TV and NESL co-produced Homecraft show match weekend of the century, as <laughs> I just titled it. It's okay, man. You can do that. As Dennis Tate Galen will be hosting about 200 nerds at his at his home. Uh, guys oh. coming in to enjoy home That's a meals. It's a Usain Bolt salad, man. This guy went across the map before I even saw it, and he's forcing Cloud to go for some early micro. He even picked up the SCV. Uh, double command center is, by the way, the opening for Cloud. He has to be really careful right now. Ben, that bunker is still not up. Carlo, why are you not bringing an additional SCV? Because, oh, Carlo's in a lot of trouble, Ben. Micro challenge, Kev, but uh, not just that. He's oh. in a ton of trouble as there are more units crossing the map right now. He's really got a micro for his life. One uh, Marine does uh, fall. Is Ellis even going to get out of there? I think Cloud is close to being dead, man. Cloud's just going to call GG as he noticed that this bunker will never go up. Cloud GG's Naniwa takes game number one within five minutes. Well. Naniwa was also following it up with the four gate, but... Let me just explain this to you guys. This is Daybreak, and the expense on the low ground, there is no ramp between your natural and where Protoss units are. If that bunker is not up, you're never going to be able to kill a Stalker. Against a player like Naniwa, who obviously is able to micro his Stalkers to a certain degree, you're never going to be able to kill that Stalker. Cloud is aware of that. He, uh, he brought the additional SV way too late. He need to finish that bunker. If that bunker is not up, you're never going to kill Stalker. You're never going to hold your low ground. Of course, what you could do is just finish the command center, lift it up to your main and stuff. Uh, he could have definitely fought a little harder there, but um, he was in a lot of trouble. This was, I wouldn't necessarily say, like premature GG or whatnot. Quick and dirty there as Naniwa takes game number one very, Quick very... He followed up with three gates in his main yeah. as well, so uh, if like the first two or three units wouldn't have deal dealt the damage that he wanted to do, he was still going to follow it up with a four gate, which means that not having that bunker is even going to be uh, a yeah. bigger of a problem. The last game was brought to you by Epson Projectors, the world's number one projector brand. Brent. Not bland. Well, number one projector brand on the planet. All the details for great HD Epson projectors is available at epson.com slash projectors. Stick around, guys. Game two, 91 versus Cloud. When we get back, don't go anywhere. Crocky, don't eat my hand.